Hello everybody, this is your boy Ju Jeezy and I am back with another Power Ranger review. No, it's not Lightning Collection. Today I am showing you my review on the Soul of Sokujin Megazord. Um, I have this Megazord for quite some time. I'm just now kind of low-key getting to the review. If you guys have been around uh, watching my videos, you know I did the Dragon Soul review a while ago, at least six, seven months ago, <laughs> give it a take. But nonetheless, this is the Megazord review. Sorry I took so long to do this. But uh, it's just some of the other things been going on that you guys, you know, call life. And as you can see in the background, you got my 1-6 scale. So that's kind of what I've been focusing on as well. But nonetheless, we have the Soul of Sokujin Megazord. Or in Japan, they call it the GS72. GX, I'm sorry. Um, but we're going to let it go around to the front. As you can see, it has great, great love to our box. You know, artwork on it, the Megazord in the front with the Japanese writing Megazord. Soul of Sokujin badge, it goes down to the side. You have the Soul of Sokujin GX72 Megazord with all five Megazords. As you turn to the back, well, as it turns to the back, you got the Megazord in Megazord form, battle mode, and it shows the individual Megazord that comes in the box as well. And as it goes to the side, of course, you got once again the Megazord and uh, full Megazord mode, man. But this thing, is, is, is it was dope. Uh, shout out to my fiance. She did this for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. I've held on to it for quite some time. Um, like I say, I'm just going to do a review on it today. Because I figure it's just time, man. With everything going on, Power Rangers is just becoming a real hot thing. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like for the people who do not have the Soul Soul with your Megazord. And for the people who do have the Soul Soul with your Megazord, I wanted you to check it out. Um, please, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. So please, for first time people, please like you know, like the video, subscribe, hit all that, hit the bell for all post notifications. But enough about that, man. I'm gonna take the thing out the box, show you the five Megazords separately, and we're gonna give you the details of each Megazord, man. So you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have taken, oh, I've taken everything out of the box. Uh, I'm going to show you the accessories the Megazord came with. As you can see, it came with the uh, shoulder blasters that it comes with when it's in battle mode. Um, these are pretty good. I like they pretty hard plastic. They don't bend. They're pretty stiff. Uh, here go the slot here to put them. I think on the back, uh, the triceratops on the tails. Give or take. I'm not sure. I'll take a look at it. It's crazy. I had this thing for this long, and I never use these. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly where they go. But you guys are gonna see it firsthand today where they exactly go. Because once again, I have never ever put these on. And then of course you got the power sword. And I must say, man, when I first seen this thing. I was like, holy crap, this thing is freaking awesome. Um, I love the way it's sculpted, it's shaped. I love the chrome finish with the gold uh, trimming in here, as you can see. Um, it is, it, man, it is immaculate, I must say, man. Like, you get close up to it, you can tell this thing is definitely, definitely built really, really well. Um, got the handle here, it's a pretty long handle because it does hold in the Megazord's hand. Uh, not going to complain, I think this thing is awesome. Then, of course, you have the manual. <laughs> yeah, you know, comes with a manual. You got the Solo Sokage in here at the top. Um, like I told you guys before, GX72, Megazord, everything is in Japanese. This is a, um, this is clearly a SOC Megazord. You got the the thing, the uh, stamp here, then Bandai America, which no longer exists anymore. Then, of course, you flip it to the back. You got all five Zords with, the pow with all five power coins and one Bitcoin, for that matter. And, of course, if I open it up, you know, you got, you know, colored instructions. Um, thought that was pretty dope. The fact that you have color instructions, I thought that was awesome. Uh, like I say, I'm not, and it's all in Japanese, which is funny. Of course, I cannot read Japanese at all. But you can kind of look at pictures and get the logistics of exactly what you're supposed to do when you put this thing together. So it shows you each Megazord, how everything goes, everything gets put together. The fact that this is in color... This is worth the money that I spent. Because like I say, uh, she spent quite a penny two and a half years ago. Uh, maybe even three. And if you try to get one of these now, <laughs> good luck for one. And for two, if you do get one, it's not going to be cheap. I will say that. So uh, nobody knew this was going to grow in popularity. Ah, see, that's where it goes. See, I never did it before. And now I see it goes on the back of the feet of the Mastodon. So now we just also learned something new today, guys. Because I did not know that's where it went. And now I know. So, uh, yeah, that's why it's cool to read the instructions sometimes because you learn stuff. So everything is here. It's showing you how to put the Megazord together, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but, yes, this is the instruction manual, as you can see. So enough about this, guys. I'm going to show you the Megazord. We're going to take a closer look at the details. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have the Megazords out. 
um, together. I'm going to do um, reviews one by one, but I wanted you to see all five of them, starting off with Pterodactyl on top of Sabertooth Tiger, uh, Master 9, Triceratops, and of course, Big Boy in the back, Tyrannosaurus. So I am going to show you one by one what these guys look like. I didn't want to just, you know, uh, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like first. Oh man, so I did forget to flip the tail on on the Triceratops. Hold on one second. And I just put the legs back in when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, but nevertheless, there you go. Uh, try, there it is, bang. Triceratops with his tail fixed. So I am gonna do a review one by one. So once again, guys, please stay tuned. Enjoy the show, man. I'm glad everybody who's looking at the video really appreciate it um, as you guys watch the video, man. And yeah, you know, it's just been a long day, a little rough. Sorry, my energy is not where it's supposed to be, but I promise you it's gonna get better as this video goes on. So you guys just stay tuned, man. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start off with Pterodactyl first. As you can see, um, pretty, pretty, pretty much what it is from the show, show accurate is basic. Um, Pterodactyl is the face plate, is the shield, is the chest shield of the Megazord. Um, as you can see, as I'm gonna take it off the spinner, and as you can see, it's pretty much like a pterodactyl bird. For the most part, uh, the head does move back and forth. Um, as you can see as well, the arms do fold in, just like in the show, they do fold in. Uh, then they also fold out for the bird wings. Pretty dope for the most part. Then you got the tail. It's supposed to be like the wing from the pterodactyl. And of course you flip it to the front. You got the chest plate as we all know what it is with the nice chrome finish on the front part. Once I, I will say this, all of these make all of these Megazords are die cast metal. Um, I think maybe I want to say 60% of the Megazord is die cast. And maybe 70, 30, I'll give it. Um, so this thing does fold into the Megazord play very well. Uh, Megazord chest play very well, but like I say, I've had the same for quite some time now. Like I say, the paint has not tarnished nor faded or anything like that. I love hand painted um, figures because they're just pretty dope, pretty amazing. Uh, but this is Pterodactyl, as you guys can see. Once again, it is it's legit, man. Like I say, it's SOC compared to the um, the ones that the Miracle was making, the plastic ones which I really hate because they got stickers. I hate stickers. The fact that they hand painted these, um, it's pretty dope. And like I say, for the price point I, my fiance got at the time, was well worth it compared to now. If you try to get one, yeah, you're looking at maybe, uh, I think last time I showed you, maybe 500. Uh, I could be wrong because when she got this for me, she didn't tell me the price, but of course I looked it up. Um, and it's probably about, this is running maybe 250. Uh, cause I think my Dragon's Lord was 180 and right now Dragon's Lord is like 400. This one is like the most expensive thing is like between five and six. And that's if you're just trying to buy it, I think. Um, I think it could be more, it could be less. But right now, this is Pterodactyl. So next, I'm not going to tell you who's next. I'm going to show you in the next thing. So you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, you can see next in line, we have the Triceratops, the Blue Rangers Megazord. Uh, he's one of the feet that combines to make the Megazord whole. Um, uh, like I say, uh... Love the hand painted artwork on it, no stickers, die cast metal. Uh, the plastic is really good, strong plastic, it doesn't bend, doesn't break. Uh, I must say, everything on this thing looks amazing. So, as I take it off the turnstile, bring it closer, and you guys can see it has the show accurate master. I mean, Triceratops paint, I mean, artwork from the show. Got the wheels down here, turn to the front, the Triceratops shield here, the arm, I mean, the head does move. And the mouth opens, and he won't open. Hold on, guys. <laughs> he won't open his mouth, and the mouth does open. I just have to get it open. I almost got it. There you go. All right, I got it. So as you can see, the mouth does open. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to get this thing. It was a little tough, but I did get it. Um, the wheels do come apart like so. Uh, yeah, so they do spread apart on the bottom as you can see to make it more wider more sturdier It does have a little neck pivot motion here um, The head does go up and down I'm sorry, I can get a better view up and down. So sorry uh, Turn it this way it does have the artwork here and once again, this is hand painted This is not a sticker on um, the tail is fully functional as well So it does do the turn around it can shoot like it did in a show <laughs> Thought that was pretty cool for the most part and then these uh, do come out I don't know if you guys are fans, but I remember the one episode when he shot these out. So, yes, these do come out. And that's a nice long chain. So, yes, they both do come out on both sides. Just to let you guys know. 
So they do come out. Sorry if my focus is not 100%. They do come out. And you have to put it back in real slow, as I'm doing. You guys can see. So they do come out on both sides. And then when I turn it around to this side, um, it does come out as well. Uh, stretch it all the way out. So it is pretty far. I will say that. It is pretty far. It's a nice chain. It's about maybe, I don't know, four to five. No, three or four inches of chain. But, you know, it's cool that they actually gave it this feature. So the fact that they, you know, did this and made it show accurate, I think is amazing too. So it does go back in this holder. But like I say, this is the Triceratops Blue Ranger Megazord. And you can refocus. There it is. Um, like I say, I can't complain about it. I love this Megazord. I always did. I actually, uh, when I was living in the other house, I used to actually have it built laying next to my nightstand. Uh, yeah, that's how big of a collector I am. I like to show my stuff until I get my cases and I'm going to glass them up and then nobody will touch it but me. Uh, but nevertheless, this is uh, Triceratops. So, on to the next Megazord. On to the next Megazord. All right, you guys. Next up, we have the Mastodon. This is the arms for the Megazord. This thing, it don't look like it, believe it or not, but it is. Um, I'm still in debate whether I'm going to put this together live for you guys as I'm filming or am I just going to um, do a B-roll footage I'm not sure. I think about it um, before this is over with and I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do. Or you guys are going to see what I'm going to do. But nevertheless, man, this is the Mastodon. So as I take it off the turnstile again, once again, I am very, very proud of the fact that this has painted artwork on it and not stickers. This thing is awesome. Like I say, I cannot complain. I love everything about the Mastodon figure. I love everything about this Megazord figure, period. Um, they got feet here. And actually, this is to put the, uh, I think, the pterodactyl on when it's um, riding in battle mode. I know these slip out, I'll just do that later. Uh, the Mastodon tusk, the nose part is functional for the most part, so it does go back and forth. You guys can see, just like they made it show accurate. So they tried to be show accurate as possible, and I cannot complain, because they definitely did. Once again, the paint on these Megazords are awesome. I love this thing, man. Like in this diecast metal, so it does have some weight. Um, and when you guys see the Megazord standing up, you're going to be like, wow, this thing is really standing up on its own. Yeah, it, it's definitely built to stand up on its own. It does have quite a few poses, and I do love everything about this SOC Megazord, a.k.a. Sofagen Megazord, a.k.a. GX72 Megazord. Um, so that is the Mastodon. You guys, man, if you guys who have one of these now, man, go back and open it up, man. Take a look at it, man. Just be amazed. For people who don't have one, man, um, I like to tell you is try to get one because these things are rare and they actually, they put together just like the show and they're, to me, way better built than what they had before with, with um, I think before with the original tours back in the 90s and I know Hasbro now is making a new one, but I don't think it's going to be no comparison when it comes to this SOC. The SOC line is just, is just immaculate, so they can't really compete with that. You got the OG, and you got the OG from Japan. So this is the OG from Japan, and it's off the chain. But enough about the Master now. Let's get to the next Megazord, y'all. Let's get to the next Megazord. All right, you guys. Up next is the Sabertooth Tiger. And I must say, this is one of my favorite ones. Shout out to Trini. You know, God rest her soul. Um, the first Yellow Ranger in America. But yes, the Sabertooth Tiger, I think, was so dope when it came out on the show, man. I love the way the Zord was built. Um, it's just something about the Saber 2 Tiger in general, even as an animal in real life, the Saber 2 Tiger was just like ferocious. Mm -hmm. So as I take this off, the turnstile, if you guys can see, is one of the tallest Zords outside of the Tyrannosaurus in the bunch. You notice everybody else is smaller compared to the Saber 2 Tiger. So it does have a fully functional mouth, uh, fully functional neck. The teeth actually do go back and forth. Um, this thing is just dope, man. It is freaking dope. Uh, turn it to the side. Once again, love the paint. No stickers, all paint here as well. You know, you got the feet that go back and forth. Uh, the feet here, the paw, they do move up and down. Uh, too bad there's no band in here. That would have been pretty dope, but I understand why. And you got the back the back feet with the wheels here for battle mode. The tail is fully functional. Remember the episode when they shot the beam out of here uh, for my older uh, subscribers, not my younger ones, unless they went back and watched all the old school Power Rangers. Mighty Morph for that matter. Uh, turn to the side once again. Great paint here. No chipping. No no chafing. Um, you can tell I had this for a while. And you know, even for three years, 
I've had it. You hardly see any wear and tear. Part of it is because I barely bring it out <laughs> ever since I moved. Uh, me, me and my fiance moved. I haven't taken it out. Just really hadn't had a reason to, so I don't. Um, but this is the Saber 2 Target. You guys, once again, this thing is freaking immaculate. Diecast metal. I love the Zorus with the diecast metal refocus camera. Refocus. There we go. Uh, so, man, the Yellow Ranger Saber 2 Tiger is it's just, whoo, man, this SOC Mega Zora, you guys just don't know. It, me talking about it honestly does not do any justice because of how immaculate this Mega Zora is. Wait till you guys see it at battle mode and in the Mega Zora mode. And I might sneak in a little treat and do one more mode for you guys. I'm not sure. Maybe two. I don't know yet. I got to see. Uh, but let's get to the last Mega Zora, man. Let's get to the last one. All right, you guys. Last but not least. The big boy, the Megazord who brings everybody together, the core of this whole Megazord, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And man, I must say, when I first took this thing out, man, I was like, holy smokes. Um, I just love the way Tyrannosaurus looks. It is so, so accurate on so many levels, from the tail to the arms, to the Tyrannosaurus head, to the blast in the side of his mouth, to the feet, like the chest, everything is so accurate and it does exactly what the show does, like all the pieces that open up, they all open up just like the show, man. I think this thing is pretty dope, man. I do have one gripe. I will talk about that one gripe. But as of right now, let's talk about this Megazord. So as I take it off this turnstile, once again, you guys see the Tyrannosaurus, Rex. I start with the head. As you can see, this head is definitely show accurate. It's got the blaster parts in its mouth, you guys know. Uh, if you watch the show like I do, this thing did. It did have these blasters, thing, blasters in the mouth. He did use his attack from time to time on the show. Uh, he does have this uh, fold down here. You guys know what goes in there. That's your source head. You know, that's, I ain't got to explain that really. Turn it to the back, to the side, I mean. Start with these feet. The feet are very big. You got the little piece here on the hip that moves. It does have a great swivel in the legs here. Turn it to the front. Same thing here. Great, great paint. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 uh, Stickers, sorry, got stickers, all paint, die cast metal, turn it to the side here. Same thing here, got a little hip action here, got a little swivel here in the legs, turn it to this Ransor's tail, this thing is pretty cool, it does flex a little bit, as you guys can see. Uh, love the Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, Zord always did. This and Dragazord, they always had great epic battles, for the most part, uh, can't complain about this, man. This thing's just freaking awesome, man, so. You guys got to see all five Megazords separately. So now I'm going to do something that I haven't done since I've had it, which is um, show you guys what it looks like in battle mode. If I'm saying that right, leave a comment down below, guys, if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but I'm putting it in battle mode right before it goes into Megazord mode. So uh, you guys stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to put this together off camera, and then when I come back, I'm going to show what it looks like on camera. So once again, you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, this is the first time I've actually put this in battle mode. And I must say, it's, um, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, definitely nice. Like I say, these SOC Megazords, when they built these and they, you know, did it the way they did it, man, this thing is freaking awesome. Everything has a home. Everything has a place for it. Everything that it comes with will be used one way or another, man. And I must say, man, just seeing this thing in battle mode reminds me of my childhood watching Power Rangers you know, in the 90s, running home to catch the last 15 minutes. Because, of course, back then, we got to school at 2.30 compared to the kids. Now, they get out way later. Uh, but we got out at 2.30. I'll, you know, run home, catch the last 15 minutes. Luckily for me, I lived down the street from my grandma's school, so I was able to get home fast. Um, remembering when the Green Ranger saga first came. Uh, remembering when Tommy lost his power. Remember when the White Ranger came. Uh, remember when they did the transfer power. It's just so many memories of the Mighty Morgan Power Rangers. And that's why that series lasted so long before they finally killed it all. For um for Zio, which I was also a fan of as well. But nevertheless, man, like the SOC Megazord and Battle Mode, man, it's off the chain. You guys, if you do not have one of these Megazords in your collection, please get one. It's it's like it's not even you can't even have a collection. Me personally, this is my opinion, of course, that's why this is my review. But you cannot have a collection of power rings like this without having Megazords. And not just any Megazords. You can have the, you know, the 90s version of Megazords. I get all that. Yeah, that's fine and good. Because I have one too, by the way. So yeah, shout out to my fiance for that too. But she also got me this one. And this is the one I really, really wanted. And I was just like, man, have this diecast Megazord, man. It's, it's just surreal. It is dope. I love it. 
That's why I don't mess with it too often, man. I do look at it every so often. I take out the box, put it together, break it back down, excuse me, and then I'll put it back up, man. But I like, like I said, this is the first time, you guys, I've done this in the last three and a half years. I've had this mega sword. This is the first time I've ever done it in battle mode. So I must say, I've been lacking, and I should have been doing this a lot sooner, but I didn't. But I love the way this thing looks to battle mode, you guys. So um, I'm going to give you a, little, a couple of more, you know, seconds to look at it in battle mode. Then I'm going to do what everybody's waiting to see. I'm going to put it in Megazord mode. And we're going to talk about that too. So you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have the SOC Megazord in Megazord mode. And like I say, man, everything on this thing has a home. It is very articulate. The way they designed it, the way they decided to go around building it with diecast metal. It is freaking awesome. You guys can see, I want to give you guys a full 360 view of what this thing looks like put together. I did not do any B-roll footage putting this Megazord together. Uh, I just really just didn't want to. Um, you guys uh, leave comments down below. If you guys would like to see me do that, I will do a probably a, a short video on uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube short, I will do a video um, on putting this together piece by piece. Um, on YouTube short, but I did not want to do it for this video um, because I just wanted you guys to see what the Megazord looked like. Once again, you guys leave comments below. Let me know if you guys would like to see me put this together real time and I will do a B-roll video on YouTube short and I will put this up as well. But in the meantime, between time you guys, this thing is freaking amazing. Like I say, everything has a home. It's definitely show accurate just like the show was, uh, the way it's gonna put together. I showed you guys what they were individually. I showed you guys what they looked like in battle mode, I showed you guys what it looks like now in Megazord mode. Now, I will give you a, um, one more, per se, I'll give you one more pose or one more B-roll footage of this, me talking, of course, and showing you what it looks like. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm just going to do it, doing the B-roll footage and let you guys see for yourself. I'm not going to tell you anything. I just want you guys to see it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, of course, giving this a rating because I give everything a rating regardless. You guys know this is a 10 out of a 10 out of 10, 1,000 of 1,000. It is the SOC Megazord in battle mode. And it's like, you cannot beat this. This this this, sword, this Zord looks better than anything that we that we found back in the day with the hard plastic, with the, with the uh, stickers, or even the new one that Bandai is making now. To me, I personally feel like it does not compare to this, especially for the price point they are putting it at. I don't think it's going to be, it's, gonna, it's not going to live up to the hype of this SOC Megazord at all. But as collectors, you all know we're gonna get it just to get it. I'm just gonna have probably three Megazords, four Megazords, you know, sitting in my closet and in my collection for the most part. But this will always be number one. This thing is fully, fully functional, you guys. So everything happens from when the Mastodon feet turn to the hands, the shoulder pads go up. Um, the, as you can see, the, the Triceratops, the Saber Two Tiger head bends up so it forms the feet. The pterodactyl forms the chest plate. The Tyrannosaurus tail goes in the back. The blasters go on top of the Mastodon feet. The Tyrannosaurus head is inside of the Tyrannosaurus chest plate. The Megazord uh, ears do come forth. It's, man, this thing is just, <laughs> it's dope, man. Everything is hand painted. There is no stickers. That's one thing I love about this Megazord more than anything is no stickers. Everything is painted. So you guys, please be actually careful with it. I'm gonna give you guys some B-roll footage of the Megazord with certain poses, and I'll tell them throw some special in for you guys as well. So you guys stay tuned for that. Check it out, man. But thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for your constant support. To my current subscribers, please hit that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are great. You guys are wonderful. Keep supporting me. I really appreciate it. To my first time viewers, uh, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the bell for post notifications. Please hit the thumbs up. It definitely goes a long way, and I really appreciate it. It doesn't take much to hit that button, and I promise you, I'm coming come with some new hot content for collectors or Power Rangers in general, but I'm also going to have figures from other genres, from uh, Ronin Warriors to Marvel to DC. I'm going to just do a lot. I'm going to be throwing a lot of chiblets in here, you guys. I am a collector. That's why it's called UGZ Collectibles, because I just collect. But I collect what I like in particular. But first and foremost, my channel... Uh, my niche will always be Power Rangers first, just because I am a big fan, 25 years plus. I am in my 30s, you guys. I'm not going to tell you exactly how old I am that you might know because the last couple of videos I've been talking about my age. So if you guys have been watching, you guys know exactly how old I am. I am an 80s baby, I will say that, but that's all I'm giving you. <laughs> I'm not telling you what year. But uh, yeah, so shout out to all my YouTube inspirations from Tall Guy, Jasmine Love, CJ32s, I'm in the Hellcat, CJ So Cool, Life with Corey, 
Um, it's oh man, it's just too many to name. Mr. Organic, I can't forget about Mr. Organic. That's my dog. I, I rock with him, man. He, you know, he that dude. Um, it's just more, but I can't give you all of them, man. But thank you guys so much for the support. You guys, please follow me on Facebook, Drew GC Collectibles. Follow me on Instagram, that's also Drew GC Collectibles. Follow my fiance and her girl, Street of Hardway. They are on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're on YouTube, and they're on Spotify called Pandora's Box, aka 76. So please follow them as well because they do a lot of things and they be turned up, man. That's all I can tell y'all, they be turned up. I ain't gonna give y'all no more than that. Just, you know, go subscribe to them, go follow them. I greatly appreciate that too. You guys, I got a lot of things in the works coming down the pipe soon. You know what I'm saying? You guys stay tuned. Just rock with me. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. So thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. And I hope I can get, you know, another 100, you know, in another month. But thank you guys so much, man. But, you know, I'm going to end this on, like I always do, for my current subscribers who know this and my new ones. You know, I'm going to leave it like this. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Until the next time, you guys, I am out. Got a fine little body and her mind's kinda naughty They say that once you taste it, you can now replace it She could get you high, all the dopamine inside Triggers fast once she's naked, her body's a creation They say the devil made her for his entertainment But even he couldn't learn how to contain it Her high heels make a damn good statement There is no replacement, a body by Satan Cause she got a bad little waist and we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase, got some egos to the face Baby I don't need no space, coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame